You can open the FBA Inbound Shipment Creation Wizard from the Inventory section of the menu, as shown here, or alternatively via the Morphing Search. The wizard allows for the flexible configuration of all aspects of your FBA Inbound Shipment, including an interim warehouse that's used to track inventory and transit. When you're ready to add products, you can move to the next step. You could add products here, but let's use another convenient way to add products to a new or existing shipment. Simply search for an Amazon Fulfilled SKU. SKUs must be valid for FBA and have available inventory in the selected warehouse. Open the Products Amazon tab and find the action to add it onto an FBA inbound shipment. Enter the quantity to add to the shipment. From here, you can now add this product to any existing FBA shipment, or you can add it to a whole new one. Let's create a new shipment and add the product. You can open the new shipment right from here. And then go straight to the wizard to either configure the shipment or add even more products to it. A shipment will get a saved status when it includes one or more products. Let's add another product onto the shipment. Use the morphing search for Amazon fulfilled SKUs with available inventory. Select the products to ship and their quantity. The case quantity feature is especially useful for LTL shipments that are often high volume. This trusted feature lets you tell Amazon to direct products and cases to one fulfillment center. So Amazon won't split up cases to multiple centers when they preview your shipment. This helps keep shipping costs down and removes any need to repackage the cases. Since the quantity per case was already set on these products, the wizard will pre-fill the case quantity which is the number of cases. Now you can move to the next part, the prep guidance. Here's where you can view any special packaging or labeling requirements. The next step is for Amazon to preview your shipment. The wizard will fetch all the setup details right from Amazon. This includes the different fulfillment locations, the temporary shipment IDs and package names, and the party who'll label the items. Notice the new previewed status. You have 48 hours to confirm a previewed FBA shipment and give it a working status. This will tell Amazon that you're going ahead with the shipment. The next step is the packaging of the first set of items. For less than load shipments, you just select LTL as the parcel type. Notice how this opens the pallet option which is required for LTL shipments. All shipments not delivered by small parcel carriers must be loaded on pallets. The case quantity shortcut will instantly pre-fill the units in boxes based on the cases. And if the case weight and dimensions are set on a product, the handy wizard will instantly populate box weight and dimensions for you. Once the boxes are done, you can configure the pallet. Enter the final weight of the loaded pallet, including the pallet itself. The last step is shipping. Open the shipping method and choose non-partnered to use your own carrier. Select the one that you want and then enter the PRO number assigned by them. Now you can go ahead and submit that tracking info to Amazon. The next step is to print out the package and pallet labels for shipping your products to Amazon.
Whenever you're ready, you can mark your packages as shipped. This moves your shipped items into Seller Cloud's interim warehouse automatically, where they will stay until they're received by Amazon's Fulfillment Center. And then they will be seamlessly moved into the FBA warehouse, where they're ready for orders.